folks, welcome to this episode of Jason the Day. I was working on my car and I wanted to get this video out as quick as I could because it's been on the back of my mind for over a month when I saw this video on social media and on the local news. Now, um, let me just set you up. I'm going to show you this video and I will explain to you why the individual with a firearm was charged with a slew of felonies. Because when you watch this video, most of the people on social media and uh, are saying that the shooting was justified and it should follow under the uh, or fall under the stand your ground law here in the state of Florida. So before I even tell you how I felt about it, let's watch this video. Now I'm just gonna have to you know dub my voice over the video. I took the original audio away from this video because it's from a local news channel here. And every time I put those news channels on my YouTube videos, it's always demonetized. So let me just play this video and I'll tell you exactly what's going on in the video and we'll discuss some um, lessons or uh, why I feel the way it turned out uh, was justified when this person with the gun was charged with a slew of felonies. But here's that video. All right, here's the shooting. Mr. Bennett was charged with a slew of felonies after using his concealed firearm and what he thought was justified use of deadly force. Now here's the backstory. This individual who's walking by minding his own business with a backpack has a concealed firearm. When these two individuals who do are not wearing a shirt and were drinking started giving this guy a hard time verbally. Now witness statements, there's one witness who worked at the smoke shop there, is stating that the two white guys were calling him racial names or racial slurs. Now uh, they go back and forth, they're yelling and screaming and just you know, just acting like drunk morons and idiots, and they finally leave the parking lot. The bad news is they returned to give the individual, the homeless guy, more of a verbal, you know, lashing. When he produces a firearm and starts shooting at the one individual who's running away, fires a couple of rounds in the passenger side door, then will go around to the other side of the vehicle and fire more additional rounds into the driver's side door while the two individuals in the truck are fleeing. And then he runs him down and fires apparently a few more rounds at the truck who's trying to flee the immediate area. All right, folks, you saw that video. Now, uh, there's been a lot of uh, comments on social media about this specific shooting. And believe it or not, almost over 90% of the people who saw this video are claiming that this was a justified use of deadly force and it should fall under Florida's stand your ground law. Now, folks, um, I'm not part of that 90% because I, I know the law and uh, I've read it over and over again. I've studied case law. Look, folks, here in Florida, the threat has to be immediate or imminent. Now, if you watch the video, maybe if the individual with a concealed firearm, when he discharged his first round that was off camera, if that was the only round he fired, he possibly could have used the affirmative defense that you know the the force the use of force was justified, but uh, the video is pretty damning. He continues continually shoots at the two initial aggressors while they are fleeing. I mean, if you watch the video, you actually see him running down the passenger who jumped to the passenger side of his door while he's actively still shooting at this individual. Also, he runs around the car and starts shooting additional rounds or round into the driver's side door striking the driver while he was also fleeing the immediate area. And then when the car is still fleeing, he's the individual with a gun is now chasing after the vehicle. And I believe he fired uh, maybe some more rounds at that point too. But folks, I'm sorry that you don't feel that this individual who was minding his own business, who was probably being called racial terms, was charged with a slew of felonies. Uh, I'm sorry, man, words, uh, uh, yeah, they may hurt your feelings, but words is not a justified reason to use deadly force. Florida State statute, again, is pretty clear. I can't t say how many times I've mentioned these in all my prior videos. You can only use deadly force if the threat is immediate or imminent. That means the threat has to be happening right then. If you draw your firearm and point it at somebody and those people run away, you can no longer justify the use of deadly force. This happened on July 4th, which happened to be four days after the law changed in Florida. And you no longer need a Florida concealed permit to carry a firearm concealed. Hence the reason why this homeless guy was not charged with that because you no longer need a permit. But I was wondering when the law changed, how quickly a use of deadly force would be used 
by someone who was not carrying a permit and it only took four days. So again, it's sad. Uh, all the individuals involved are now affected because one guy uh, was killed, another guy was shot in the arm, and now this individual who uses firearm is sitting behind a jail cell going to face trial. Now, if he's found not guilty, that's a whole nother story. Uh, I don't want to get into that type of debate whether or not he should be found guilty or not guilty, but I do feel that the state attorney's office did charge him under the Florida state statute appropriately and the charges were just. So anyways, I'm gonna close out my video like I always do and that is with my motto, prepare your battlefield for success. Thank you.